I think our usage rates in the community have gone up. Uh, we get calls at least once a week from somebody who is concerned about a family member who is using heroin. It's a dark, destructive, and addicting drug. And according to experts, it's making its way into rural communities like Nome by air and by water. There are people that are coming from the lower 48 bringing heroin into Western Alaska communities, hub communities, and it's being distributed from those communities out to Western Alaska uh, villages. Nome's Mayor Denise Michaels knows how destructive the drug can be after watching her nephew Derek struggle with addiction. He was living with her at the time he was using. It was Mayor Michael's first real awareness of heroin and its impact. Had no idea um, the signs. One day he came home and he was laying on the couch and he was shivering. And I thought, oh, he's got the flu. Poor, you know, poor baby, he's got the flu. Um, another day, I think it was the holidays, he, he was sitting there just nodding off while we were opening Christmas presents. And I thought, geez, what's wrong? Derek never left drug paraphernalia behind. It was actually what was missing that tipped Michaels. I collect two things, um, guns and gold, and uh, all my jewelry and uh, gold was gone. So he was using that to support his habit. She and other family members also noticed checks were missing. The hardest thing to do is to turn your family member in into the police department. Um, this was theft and it was so bad that he needed help. Derek eventually turned himself in. He wanted to clean up because he wanted to make sure he could see his daughter grow up. I, that was, she's the inspiration. So, and it's, you know, love for your child. It's, you can't, you can't ever break that bond. But there are no drug treatment centers located in Nome and long waiting lists for other facilities across the state. We unfortunately here have limited outpatient services in this region. Behavioral Health Services is the only agency in this region of 9,400 people in a 24,000 square mile region to, to provide treatment services. Derek was able to get inpatient treatment in the lower 48 where he lives now. I just got a year of being clean and sober. Yay! I understand the need for a treatment center closer to home instead of having to send everybody out. It does impact every family. It impacts every member of a community. And, and to idly sit by and go, well, that's never going to touch me. It already has because it's touched your community. For Derek, admitting he had a problem was the first step. Once you let that go, there's a huge weight lifted off your shoulders and you could finally breathe. Like his aunt, Derek now wants to be part of the solution, not the epidemic. He's training to become a behavioral health therapist. I want to go further. I want to go above and beyond to help people and reach out. Knowing firsthand experience, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Marty Glazer, Channel 2 News.